This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. Hey, Deb, can I talk to you? Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about something. I need some specialized care from somebody I trust. And I've been putting it off because it's hard to find somebody new. Yeah. And it can't be just anybody. It needs to be someone close to me who is passionate about fulfilling my needs. And I think I'm ready. I'm done waiting. I'm ready to find a new doctor on ZocDoc. <clears throat> ZocDoc. ZocDoc, the free app and website that lets you search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book an appointment with them online. That is great. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. See you in a second, okay? okay? I just need a minute. We use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Ned and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash Ned. Whew. This episode is brought to you by Green Chef. But that's what they don't understand. And, and I try to set the boundary. I try to set hey the guys, boundary. Guess what? What's up? I'm a chef. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't rub two pieces of bread together and make a sandwich. <laughs> oh, 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 really? Told that to my dinner last night. Asparagus linguine with chicken and bacon. Huh? Or tonight, three cheese fondue with beef tenderloin. Mm, that sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. real good. Yeah. But, but, but wait, you're saying you're a chef? Like, when did you get your culinary arts degree? <laughs> oh, I didn't. No, I got green chef. You can be a chef in 30 minutes or less. All of these complex recipes that you can impress your friends with and the ingredients get delivered right to your door. I've heard of that. Yeah. Go to greenchef.com slash 60neds and use promo code 60neds for 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. That's greenchef.com slash 60neds, promo code 60NEDS. And great news, Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh. So our listeners get a discount on both brands. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. It is a very special day, ladies and gentlemen, on the Nest Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. One of my former co-stars, you know, I'm with my co-stars, but... An another, another co star, -star. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adam Hicks in the flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Welcome to Ned's Pod, Welcome man. Thank you Pod. so much. Now, from Lemonade Mouth, yeah. Zeke and Luther, yeah. uh, what, 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 Pair of Kings, yeah. Pair of Kings, yeah. and uh, Jonas. Uh, Jonas, Jonas right? yeah, a couple episodes yeah. of Jonas. Whoa. He's done it all. <laughs> He's built different. And can built I different. tell you, you are a legend in my mind at this point, just because of the fun that you and Daniel have seemed to have. And he, oh, yeah. he meant that. Your boy. name comes from his mouth often. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Sometimes that's in heat right and sometimes just <laughs> in friendship. Yeah, you know, <laughs> gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. Give credit where credit is due, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yes, we are we are here and we are on a pod. Yes, and, and I'm gonna... happy to be here. Thank yeah. you guys for having me, man. Oh yeah, my gosh, it's good to yeah. see you. It's been a long yeah, time. It's been a man. long time. I was just talking to Devin. I haven't mm -hmm. seen Devin in probably ten years. Ten years, ever... easy. Oh yeah, I haven't seen Devin in probably ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I know we all came up in this. Uh, in this world together, man. Yeah, we did, for the, sure. You took Daniel from us, you know, he left us and oh, yeah. got onto another show. Yeah. Lindsay got onto other shows and... What did I do? <laughs> you built you lasting friendships. What did I do during that? You're I did now. that. I made friendships. Thanks, Lindsay. Yes, yes, yeah, real yeah, lasting yeah, friendships. Yeah, you made a great personal life. Thanks. Uh -huh. yeah, much matters. Yeah. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So, yeah, I mean, we, we talk about a little bit of everything on this pod. Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. Sur surviving uh, childhood stardom. Also building relationships and just adulting in general. Like yeah, what, for sure. what what are what are the ways that you've had to navigate adulting? Because that transition is a a hard thing. Um navigating adulting. I mean that that's crazy. It kind of just you gotta take it one day at a time. I mean, yeah. you know, as far as me, I've kind of set up barriers in my life and and try to get rid of the toxic people and do the best I can in that area. Yeah. Um, you know, my mental health, I've been putting that first. I've been on a little fitness journey. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I hey, see it on a fitness journey. I see it. Yeah, yeah so I, what's the routine? Bit. What's the workout routine? Bro, I just eat chicken and broccoli. 
Chicken and broccoli. For, for like five months. Yeah, yeah but you, I lost, lost like, like 30 pounds, yeah. Dang. Wow, congrats, yeah, man. Yeah, so I've been going down that little path. That's good, that's good. But you are, you are always kind of lean, but you know, sometimes you, the, the, yeah. when we get older, guys, the, 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 the pounds just pack on, you know? Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah, combated it. it, that's what matters. And I just had a birthday. Oh, hey. yeah, yeah. Hey. I what just, 31, it was the scariest birthday of my life. I was like, 31 years old, this is crazy. Happy uh, birthday. Oh, terrifying. Right, Happy birthday. Why, it's, it's why was it terrifying? Time. It was just terrifying, bro. I'm getting too old. You know? That's how you feel? It, it's, you know, and, and actually, I didn't even do anything on the birthday, which just that's enhanced you know. the feeling of being old. Yeah. That's when you know you're getting older. So you're like, eh. Yeah, I was it's like 31. Birthday. I don't know. I could miss that one. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 30 hit me really hard because it, yeah? it was during the pandemic. So it really hit like life yeah. wasn't where I wanted it to be. Uh, the world wasn't in a great right, place. Like sure. there was so much chaos around. So 30 and 31 were a little tender. Last year I turned 32 and things were kind of turning around and felt good. And now I feel good about my 30s. Okay, but that's 30, good. Yeah, 30, 30, 30, yeah it was like then. a deep like... What did I do in my twenties, and and uh, right, right. What did I not do, and like, where am I, and what the fuck do I want, and how do I get there? You know, all that shit right, hit right, real hard sure. at thirty. Yeah, yeah, thirty was a big one for me too, and then thirty one now. But you know, we're getting older. It's yeah, yeah, it's part of life. life. Yeah, back don't fight life. it. Yeah, yeah, can't fight it. How, yeah. how do you feel being so old, Lindsay? You know, <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> It feels good having the upper hand on you because I know what happens already. I know what happens in your next two You're years. You're a professional there, old that. person. I'm a professional right, right, right. ager. Do you understand? And now I can look at you down there and say, oh. You'll understand Aww, someday. Look at that. You always you. did. Oh, so look at you down Aww. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like, a, you know what? I'm so down to be the crone. I feel like I've had crone energy since I was young. You know what I'm saying? I know crone's disease. What's crone? Yeah, I, I, I'm that's, crone. That's, that's, no, no, no. That's like C H. That's C H R O N. We're talking C R O N E. An like old crone. crone. No, oh, no, an old, old, an old crone. crone. A wise, a wise it, It's crone. like a gnarled. A witch. It's like a gnarled a old crone. witch. A crone. It's such a great word. Crones don't have Mythic. to have arthritis. I got to look it up. They all have arthritis. <laughs> so I, I got the phone out right arthritis. now. Gnarled crone. old witch. Literally an ugly old woman. No way. <laughs> like, no way. Bro. Why would you come I, up with a word and first define all, it? First of all, first of all, I thought up. there was magic powers involved in that. <laughs> right? Not even <laughs> mystical. None? No. No stage. Like yeah. no, no superpowers. I, I think in a lot ugly. of like stories, they describe the old magic Witch woman like as an old crone. As an you know? old crone, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh no, here we go. Here, here's some in folklore. A crone is an old woman who may be characterized as disagreeable. Yeah, checks out. Checks out. Malicious. <laughs> we just met today, so I Or don't know. sinister I, yeah. in manner, often with magical or supernatural associations that can make her either helpful or obstructive. Crone! <laughs> but man. I'm about to turn my crone energy around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be, be one for be the Be the kids. helpful crone. Like, like, be the little, oh, your baby needs a thing for his rash? Let me concoct that. My apothecary. Oh, nice. That doesn't have that any word. drugs in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do. <laughs> right? I yeah, really, you know sure. what I mean. You know what I mean. I really look forward to you turning into a, a crone. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty privilege is a thing that you lose. Oh yeah, yeah over yeah. time, yeah. And that is possibly awkward, but I I don't know. I think uh, I, I don't know. Like the aging thing, I mean there are things to do to fight aging on your face if you don't want it. Mm. Yeah, you going to get Botox out of it. Come on, some is, Botox. I find this <laughs> world Botox. exhausting. Like oh my girl wanted that. Another fucking <laughs> year of this, another, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some things can be so heavy and it's like, dang, you made it this far. I wonder how much longer on this journey you got to go. I, I don't know. But you pick up other skills along the way so you don't have to use that privilege, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like I didn't rely on that privilege literally at all when I was younger. Yeah. And my mouth literally got in the way of my pretty privilege. And oh. um, I don't think I maximized it to what it could be used mm. for. But I didn't put any value in it either. Like, I didn't value, like, what you say matters. How you look, who cares? So uh, A plus, yes. A plus, you know that's what you Dan D and A plus, Dan D and A plus, man. The we cool table, the cool table. Yeah, one I half, forgot about that, bro. That's what you it called was a it. Cool the cool table, table man. Bro, we was killing the YouTube that. game, man. They, we they were, ready bro. For us back in the day, you know what I mean? Dude, the we, lie, honestly, we on these the guys, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, these guys that's put out some songs and then these freestyle videos on YouTube, like way back in the day. And honestly, they were fire. I love folks always asking, man, like about your, like, bro. This guy is one of the coldest, man. I got to let y'all know. As far as lyricism goes, 
A That's plus, what's up, bro. I appreciate man. it. You still making music? Yeah, yeah. I'm yep. still making music. Yeah. You made you made a song with you worked with Chris Brochu on Lemonade Mouth, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, and you guys made music together. Yeah, right? we made a song. Yeah, we yeah. made uh, We Burning Up, which was actually oh, yeah. Disney. Yeah, put it out. Disney XD put it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's like out. a close homie. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. That's my boy right there. Yeah, man. fuck yeah. Yeah, we still talk. He's actually over in um where wait, New Mexico in, Taos. New, yeah, New Mexico. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he moved away, but uh, yep. yeah, he's a, he's a good friend of mine, man. Dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dope, yeah. Dope, we dope. still talk. We we're actually talking about maybe doing a song. We're like just bring it back together and do something, you know? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that'd be cool. So you're still rapping? Yeah, still rapping. Still out here. Yeah. Strikes over. Can you, can you strikes tell over. some stuff for us right now? <laughs> they always want to put somebody on the spot. Uh, every, Don't you hate when a host does that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you do that. Or you're a doctor. Why? You do surgery It's literally right now. called freestyle. You're funny? Be funny. <laughs> Is it, the, the answer That's is, what they ask me every day for six hours to be on here. So. Be funny. Yeah. You, answer, you had a couple of weeks to prepare for this but You had to know that question was coming. Uh, the answer is usually I didn't actually, but I no. freestyle. <laughs> I freestyle, but, I do. but I don't style for free. Yeah, but I don't style for free. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the, no. I can show you a titty. <laughs> oh well, Adam's about to freestyle. I'm about guys. to freestyle right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> that's great. That's you great. know, we can make a beat. Oh, yeah, I'll show you Devin's happen. titty. Hey, <laughs> that's for free. That's for free. <laughs> um, so what would you say was your favorite uh, project to work on in in your lengthy career? Um. They were all different and brought different things. I feel like Zeke and Luther was probably Lemonade Mouth was amazing, but Zeke and Luther was I grew up on that show. You we know? had some time, and we on had that show, some boy. times on that show, bro. Yeah. And and you know, just being a child starting at fifteen on that show, and then you know, three years every day, Monday through Friday, we do promotions on the weekend. Yep. So it was a it was a long it was a long gig. You know, oh, yeah. and you would drive out from Vegas. Like yeah. you, you stayed in my crib a lot of the time, so that you didn't have to do that drive. Yeah, I used to sleep on his couch. Yeah. You're from Vegas. Yeah, I'm from Vegas. So you originally. were commuting. Yeah, so basically, to LA for like it. my family's still in in uh, in Vegas. So my dad, my brother, um, but yeah, we'd commute back and forth. That, that's been the whole the whole time I've been yeah, doing yeah. the thing. You know what I mean? And was wow. Zeke and Luther like early into you going out to audition? So no, I actually started acting when I was like seven years old. Damn. Yeah, so I started young. Did this first project. It was like. The show called Titus was on Fox yeah, for like yeah. three oh, seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So I played like young Dave. So it was like the flashback. I was like eight years old. Okay. Wow. And so uh did that and then um did a couple more projects. But yeah, then eventually got pitched to Disney and Zeke and Luther met this fabulous guy right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who was transitioning? Fat. Fact, I met this fat guy. <laughs> I met, I met this guy <laughs> when he was transitioning, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> no, he was coming from uh, Nickelodeon, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we had just yeah, yeah. up that show. Yeah, I was yeah stolen by Fred Savage and yeah, wow. Wow. it was Fred Savage, Savage that brought you the first. Liver. Yeah, he kind of just gave me the role. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's so tight, honestly, because the role you played on Zeke and Luther was so different than Cookie. So it's different. tight that he was, was like, yeah. Oh, I know, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. Daniel's this. And I ended up screwing myself on that show because we started out with the character being like the bad boy, but I was like, Oh, I was leaning into this slapstick comedy so heavy. You know, I was supposed to be like you guys is like arch nemesis, and I was kind yeah, of yeah, right. yeah. It was just so much comedy, I ended up making it way more comedic than it should have been. And sometimes I feel like I could have transitioned into a different style uh, if i hadn't chose to just stick with that slap stick. right because mm. then you had to stick there yeah but it worked bro yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Worked, we, we, bro. yeah i actually have an amazing like there, there's this scene that pops out in zeke and luther it, it's it's this scene it's actually with daniel curtis lee we're, we're sitting remember we came up with this hutch is at this like they built this like small house you remember mm -hmm, on and the side H yeah and, and and no no and hutch is like arguing with his girlfriend or something and they're like can you guys go in the living room please and me and you take that one step to the left. You remember? That? Oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh no, you that was that? lit. That was lit. That was that good. Was lit. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, we we bro, we developed some cool comedic moments on yeah, that yeah. show, man. It was it was great working with this dude, comedic genius on top of the the rap skills. Fuck yeah. But yo, know, just that yeah. slight little. <laughs> Basically, it was a small. Like the house was as big as his table, you know. So yeah, yeah. Hutch is arguing with this yeah. girl, and the girl's yeah. like, "Can you guys go yeah. to the living room, please?" And we're like, okay, yeah, we'll be right yeah, we'll we'll be right right. yeah, yeah, we're, we're there. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're there. <laughs> no, but it was just the freedom on that show to be able to just exercise, you know, any kind of like, you know, comedy or you know anything that you were doing. That I mean, you could just go, yeah, you know, and that was the beauty of it. Yeah, a lot it's, of it's, stuff. It's rare. Yeah, a lot of stuff was off script. A lot of the comedy was just spur of the moment, you That's know. Dope. And then after you know years of it, obviously you guys get in the, we got into a rhythm.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a reflex after a while, for yeah. sure. For sure. We got yeah, we had, we had that with Ned's, like, where just, like, the size of it is so fucking huge. Like, it's just rare that you get a chance to be that free comedy-wise. Like, right, right. just send it. Like, fucking shout it, you know? Right, right. Um, Yeah, like, in Project Since, it's just, like, rare you get the chance to be that fucking free. For mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, and, sure. and, you know, as far as physical comedy, like I loved Ned's as an incubator before that because we had very physical comedy. For sure. But this show was actually, we're skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. You know, so everything is like big. Everything's big. Like Hutch played like more of a like straight character. Yeah. You know, he his right. wasn't going for the laughs and we kind of, you know, that's what, what we We had to go for the laughs. Yeah. Were, Luther Waffles. Were you there home. for Daniel doing the worm and breaking, breaking his face his open? open? What? I think I remember this, bro. Oh, <laughs> and I also remember that. Oh, raw vegan diet is always coming up. I got to say, it raw ruined vegan my diet, life. Bro. Oh, man, it was bad. <laughs> no way. I mean, you, uh, you, yeah, he he knows. I, I was remember, there during that time. Yeah and, yeah, and I know you were like a little weirded out. But I was, I was like, like can I go to Subway? He's like, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that, man. We can't support this corporation. <laughs> all right, they're, they're killing us slowly. It's like, all right. Damn, uh, I wish I had known Daniel during this time. They lie in wait. Avocado. Lindsay. All you can have is an avocado. Yeah. Yeah. Avocado, yeah. <laughs> man, but even yeah, I think Tristan, your little brother, like for a while, he was like, man, yeah, they're you know the 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 raw vegan diet. It's the way. And then I felt bad. That was the first time I felt bad because I felt like it was having a negative effect on him. I think he wanted to be vegetarian. I think he, <laughs> yeah, I think dad, he tried it because of Daniel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> and your dad was like, nope. My dad was like, dad was like what no, no, the no. hell are you trying to teach my boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. But, uh, but yeah, busting my head on that. You know why I busted my head on that? Why, why, it was man? a dance sequence, and we were supposed to study with a uh, dance teacher. He was somebody famous as, like, son. Dang, we did so much stuff on that show. But we were supposed to choreograph these movements, and I got into an altercation with the guy teaching us the choreography. And I was like, I know how to get out there and dance. Um, and I showed up on set. And then I broke down to do the worm. It was my final finish move. And wow. Slapped. Oh, and smack that. Smack my head. That. I had to go to the yeah, doctor. Yeah, remember that. This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. Hey, Dev. I want to talk to you about something. All right. So I've been thinking about it. And. I need somebody, I'm looking for somebody that can give me some specialized care, right? You know, it's not every day that you meet people that you, you know, you connect with, you vibe with. So I need somebody that's close to me, right? Somebody that's passionate about, you know, fulfilling my needs, right? Really taking care of me, all right? So uh, I'm done waiting. You know, I'm gonna find a doctor on ZocDoc. Doc Doc. Doc Doc. Doc Doc. The free app and website that lets you search and compare highly rated in network doctors near you and instantly book an appointment with them online. Mm hmm. That part. Congrats, man. I'll see you in a second. We use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Ned and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot -O -C com slash net. So close. Yeah, we only heard about it because Lindsay was like sitting here on the pod like, what's that scar on your on your eyebrow? And Daniel's like... And you like, got a scar from it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No stitches. Stitches, like stitches from the worm. That's crazy. And I'm just hoping that footage is somewhere of it's him just be. Yeah, rocking his head yeah, on a bad there. worm. It's out yeah. there. Helmet on and everything. It just cleared just enough to bust my head <laughs> on, while dancing. Oh, my God, man. What, what was your favorite uh, moment in Zeke and Luther? Can you remember? Or any? My favorite there? moment in Zeke and Luther was probably the episode, the, um, the hangover episode, bro. I, just far as Whoa. moments. Y'all getting hung yeah, over? We had a hangover episode. We had a hangover episode. What, like was, the movie? Like, like they the movie. literally mimicked yeah. the hangover. Shots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like and it you was guys like, wake yeah, no, up. Like and... The whole storyline. What was the scenario? Like, yeah, you remember? What? We were, we were, um, yeah, we get this liquid, uh, with this snow cone liquid and we all end up <laughs> enjoying like it. Party? We're partying. And the next thing we know, we're just blackout. We wake <laughs> up and he's got an Afro. I'm in a dress and uh -huh. people are missing and we got to track down everybody. And I was like, how similar is this to the hangover? And then at the end, they literally have like the pictures of yeah, like yeah. what the night was. Yeah. They were literally yeah, wow. satirizing. Like that's, that's, that's fun. So, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so that was just, it was a wild one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that just, <laughs> when I went to see The Hangover, <laughs> when I 
went to the Arclight Cinerama Dome. And uh, uh, I was with my girlfriend at the time and a friend. And uh, my girlfriend and I, we ate an edible. And yeah. I don't know, man. Intense? I don't know what happened with that edible. It was like a brownie. And I don't know if the, the brownie had turned or if it was too much edible. But too we start edible, watching sorry. the header. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Too much <laughs> we start watching the movie in the Cinerama Dome and the shit's fucking huge. And all of a sudden, like 20 minutes in, like my ears are ringing. I'm so high. Like, <laughs> like, oh, <no. laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I got to go to the bathroom for a second. I end up in this Arclight bathroom again, sweating. I, this happens sweating. I, I, I think I'm naked in there. Like, I, I'm, no like way. I'm like clothes off too high. In the fucking bathroom, um, <laughs> I'm wondering how my girlfriend's doing because she took the same thing. Uh, <laughs> my luckily, my my best friend's there, so I know like she's at least got him. Uh, I come out like I don't make the movie. I, I I'm in there a long time. I watch like the end of the movie, and then we like sit in the lobby, and she's freaking out, and I'm freaking out, and there's sirens around because there was like an emergency on the street. Same. That watching that movie the first time was a goddamn nightmare, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, PTSD. But I love that movie. Yeah, great yeah. movie. <laughs> when I actually got to watch it, I was like, oh, this is great. Yeah, but yeah. But that time, didn't see it. Man. Didn't see it. Made it, made so it 20 edibles. minutes in. Yeah. Well, Wasn't edibles will do it to you. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, they will. God damn. Oh, Too much edible. Yeah, I can't. I, I, love, I love my edibles. I'm, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I'm impervious to the bad trips on edibles. No, no bad trip from the edibles. I cannot, did not get high on an. I, oh, edibles edible. weren't it didn't edibles do it for you. literally uh, I, I burned my brain out this one time I ate a whole bag of caramel popcorn mm. and I'm telling you I was psychic <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> unfortunately I did it at my boyfriend's movie premiere so literally <laughs> can't move out of that place just but, you were like, you were time. you were Bran from Game <laughs> oh, of dude, Thrones, I just like I, transporting I through like, the universe. So I like go and I he sits me down at some place at the party and he brings over this guy and I go, <laughs> Dang. that guy's not good energy. You oh, gotta, you gotta adios him. Oh no! And two days later, got in a big fight with that guy. Like I could tell, like I could just like yeah, you no. were sense you were tapped in. Yes, to the other. No, to the other side. You were you were entering your crone stage. Yeah, <laughs> I was croning it up for sure. And ever since then, I feel like it's short circuited. Yeah. And I can, I will take the whole bag, the every single gummy in there. I will drink the whole bottle. I will nothing. Nothing. nothing? Strange. Nothing. That's hmm. strange because edibles are strong. Right? Yeah. They okay. they yeah weed process but through I, your liver. It's stronger than the I smoke. Sometimes I also feel like I was on um, an SSRI, so I don't know how that sometimes affected. That's shutting. Yeah. Right. 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 SSRI. Right. I'm gonna need that uh, breakdown. Uh. What does it stand something for? Re, something serotonin. Inhibitor. Yeah, something oh, serotonin. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So like a mood stabilizer. Yeah. 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 So sometimes I feel like that, like, possibly, didn't, like, just on on ecstasy or anything. Like sometimes that didn't like hit me in the same way. Hmm. Probably just bunk ecstasy, but. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, edibles would be so like simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But no. Are, Dude, are you oh. sober? I'm sober, yeah. Nice. Congrats, been sober six Perfect. years, man. Yeah. Wow, yeah. dude. Six years. That is incredible. Congrats, How's brother. that? It's good. It's, um, I mean, thinking back on when I wasn't sober and, and how I was living, it kind of um, kind of disgusts me on how bad I, I was, you know, as far as not being sober. Yeah, you know? man. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. So looking back on it now, I mean, I, yeah, I've been sober six years. I've been... uh. Doing good, man. Congrats. Just doing man. good mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Just like, sure, yeah, man. you know, we from the outside saw all the fucking headlines and yeah, shit going sure, down. Yeah. And like, it's just like, fuck, Adam? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah. I oh, it must be in a dark ass place. I mean, man. it was a terrible moment in my life. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. And it was, um, you know, things just kind of fell apart just yeah. all around me in my personal life. Um, you know, my professional life, everything was going solid. But you know how it is. I mean, growing up in the industry, young age acting i don't want to blame the industry and it, say it was the industry's it's fault okay, it's not the industry's it's fault honest. you know um but i feel like uh you know me growing up i always like suffered with anxiety and stuff like that so i just self-medicated yeah yeah 
mean, that no, was my You outlet. would take yeah. your time for yourself. I remember we would just be <clears throat> at an event or even just regular chilling, and he would just take time to himself and just, no, I, I can't. There's too much going on over there. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I, uh, I just self-medicated to the point. I mean, my dad, he had been taking Xanax for anxiety for, what, Oof. 30 years? Wow. You know, so... Um, so seeing that at a young age, you know, I kind of directed that also. And I yeah. just was in this vicious cycle of just Xanax and alcohol, bro. Fuck. And to the point where it just went into insanity, you know. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot. Yeah. Been through a lot. Um, and, you know, mental health played a big role in it. And it's not an excuse. It's just a factor. You know what I mean? Facts. It, it just played a big role in it. And, uh, and yeah, an addiction, man. It's a serious thing. I'm yeah. actually, I actually started a nonprofit. Um, so we're starting that. It's called Soundtracks of Life. It's for people who've been formerly incarcerated, people yeah. who have mental health issues. We're actually going to open up at a couple locations in the valley and wow. just help these people. That's incredible. Just yeah. getting in contact with these people. Because look, man, it's like it was broadcasted everywhere. Yeah. People, stuff like this happens every single day. And don't of course get it broadcast. Does. And it's just because I was a little bit well known that it mm -hmm. got broadcasted everywhere. And, you know, things that led up to that, you know, people know the story if they don't, you know. But um, there's factors that led up to that. And I, I just made it a mission to kind of put myself in contact with these kind of people who need help. You yeah. Know? Just, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, a music manager for a little while who was like formerly incarcerated. And if you spend any time studying or in the criminal justice system in the U.S., like it's fucked. Yeah. And like sure, the recidivism bro. rate and that like people yeah. are doing time for things. And like, like you said, it's happening every day, but people will go in, make this mistake as a young person and it fucking marks the rest of their life and for they sure. can't. And they can't bounce, bounce back. back and there's not a lot of systems in place <clears throat> to help them bounce back or communities in place to help them bounce there back not. Yep. for real. Like and people I are mean, left the, on their own when they come out. The help in, I mean, just LA County jail in general. I mean, it's just the worst of the worst, bro. You yeah. Know? I mean, it really is, you know, I don't think it gets much worse. Hopefully not. Um, but is that the one downtown? Is that where you were? <laughs> yeah. Twin, Twin towers, towers right? Twin towers. Yeah. Uh, 3,300. So right there in, uh, like men's central jail. Yeah, that's where I I, <clears throat> I I only spent a few hours in my drunk my DUI. I spent uh, at yeah, that yeah, place. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, don't want to be there long. Yeah, it's poser. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> uh, what you waiting for? Were you there? I was there for four years in a six by nine cell. Jesus Christ, Adam. So I was there four mm. years, but I mean, COVID was a big was a big factor in that. So yeah. COVID slowed down the whole court process. Mm. Um. You know, and then had to get the lawyer, had to go through COVID, had to figure it all out and just try to find out how to get out of that situation, you know, because once you're in it, you're stuck, you know, and I really didn't have a lot of people around to kind of help me out. So it, it was a lonely time for sure, bro. Fuck, man. I, I always <clears throat> felt terrible that I, that I wasn't there. Uh, no, for you, you in time. No, yeah, and it, it wasn't just on me. Like we kind of all we went our own little separate ways. I had stuff I had to deal with, you know, right, on right, my right. own too. Um, uh, so so yeah, man. I, I do extend an apology. I think I spoke to you one time. Nah, you don't have to. You're on the phone yeah, with Alicia good. Mulally. I think I, I yeah, yeah, Alicia. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah we we spoke one spoke, time. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. but yeah. What what do you feel like you wish would have been there to prevent that circumstance? Is it only people or what? Yeah, I didn't take the necessary steps. I mean, look, this is how it works with addiction, at least with me, is that, you know, you feel like you're stable. You feel like you can continue to sustain at whatever drugs you're taking, whatever you're doing. And then eventually, I mean, at least with me, my, my life kind of fell apart. My mother died. Mm -hmm. You know, my brother got in trouble. He left. My dad was in, you know, wasn't in the picture. So all these things kind of fueled this addiction that continued to just fuel itself into insanity, you know, into like a you know psychotic break basically bro yeah. it was just it was a very low terrible time but you know i'm back and yeah back out here and just you know i i really feel like it's 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 in my heart to put myself in these kind of situations that you know be asked these questions or to talk to these people because i know i'm going to relate to somebody be a voice, you know, sure, yeah, man. You you know what i mean it. there's there's people out there that need help you know that's why i started this nonprofit. i just feel like putting me in contact with these people getting it started so they don't end up incarcerated 
or if they do end up incarcerated, there's there's programs there to help them rehabilitate themselves because the rehabilitation is 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 Love. is a joke. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, what's they're, actually out there, what's for, actually out there yeah. for the rehabilitation and they call it rehabilitating. You know, I was in a six by nine for four years, so I don't know how rehabilitating and, you know, at the same time, I do take full responsibility for everything that 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 happened, you know, so yeah. that's another side of it also. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. I mean, I would guess four years in a cell like that. You, you know, said six taking, by nine? Taking all the... Six, six by nine. Looking that's, at that's all angles of how you every got angle. there. Yeah. yeah. Every Damn, single man. angle, yeah. This episode is brought to you by Green Chef. <laughs> Guys, <that's, laughs> looks like I'm gonna be couch surfing for a while. What? Why? My girlfriend's gonna break up with me tomorrow. Uh, what? Why? What did you do? <laughs> Dude, it's our 10 year anniversary. I told her, promised her that I would get her these reservations to the Chum Bucket, and they're booked nice. out for three months. Makes sense. I procrastinated, man. Wow, dude. You know what you can do? Just cook her one of your Green Chef nutritious and delicious recipes. <gasps> oh yeah, farm fresh ingredients right to your door. And you can choose a meal that fits your guy's lifestyle and food preferences. You can actually put in some effort, not just a reservation. Huh? Women love that. Yeah, Okay. we do. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Ha! <laughs> Go to greenchef.com slash 60neds and use code 60neds for 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. That's greenchef.com slash 60neds, promo code 60neds. And great news, Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh and our listeners can get a discount on both brands. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. <laughs> and um, just kind of... Kind of just, yeah. I mean, what was crazy is that when I was in that cell, I, I didn't really know a lot about myself mm -hmm. because I'd spent so much time in this like disgusting cycle of just, you know, trying to sustain and, and trying to, you know, not detox and trying to, and all this, you know, um, insanity that I really started to learn a lot about myself just mm. sitting there for, you know, all that time, you know, mm -hmm. really try to evaluate myself and the different situations and you know what led up to this because it was definitely a series of events that led to that one event you know for sure yeah for sure so you've been out how long two years cool yeah cool back in the game you <laughs> back at it let's go it's let's got to feel good man yeah, what's kinda... yeah what's been the process what's been giving you strength i know you've been planning yeah 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 what's been giving you strength? i mean the nonprofit sounds fucking awesome by the yeah way. no yeah. well i just I, I started that just as a personal thing and yeah. then um you know, I got a solid team. Just get back out there auditioning. Um, I'm attached to a pilot, which is good. So I'll be working Strikes again over. on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I've just been slowly making those moves. <laughs> hey! Trying yeah. to rebuild. Yeah, yeah man. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it's the only thing you can do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not the only thing you can do, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, you yeah. could keep that's being. A cool you you thing can't keep your, you can't keep your feet still. You you like I've had moments in my life where I felt like I was so low, and I was like, I just want to sit here and die. But it just never happens. Yeah, you know, you, you you're not just gonna fade away. It's mm -hmm. Like you, other people are gonna be walking by you. You might as well get up and continue to trudge along too. Like you know, right, right, right. You gotta yeah. keep pushing. I don't yeah. know, man. I just find it interesting. Like you know, we're all here in our 30s now. We all started in the industry super young. We all came from this like similar kind of place right, right. in LA. Um, and it looks different for all of us. But this fucking journey to our our 30s, like. All of it looks different, yeah, but like, yeah, there's so many similarities right, of just like sure. hitting walls and yeah. needing to find something, some kind of change inside ourselves to keep fucking going. Right, right, right. Yeah. Different Fuck, equations man. to arrive at the same answer. Four plus four is eight. Six plus two is eight. You know, right. what is your equation? Um, right, right, right. That's wild, dude. Yeah, man. But yeah, yeah, we happy to to have you back, man. Yeah, happy to be here to give yeah. the world some some great, you know, uh, masterpieces, man. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm I'm yeah. happy to be back, man. Yeah. Really has taught you a lot about you know what matters in life. That's for sure. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the simplest things like not having a cell phone or dude mm. eating top ramen. Has yeah. much changed so, since you went in? Yeah, is it like coming out? It's a whole new world. Like, does it feel like bro? We're I was in the future? scared. Like, <laughs> I was scared. Like, they're like, all right, you. you you know, you have this this much time to, and you, we're gonna let you go. And it was if they would have, this is the honest truth. If they would have came to my cell and said, "Hey, 
pack your stuff. You're leaving right now. I would have been like, wait, hold on. I, I need like, you know, I need like a, a couple of days right. to like figure this out. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. And so it's weird because it's a whole different world. It, it's crazy because when you are inside, nobody talks about outside. Mm. And that's, Whoa. that's crazy, bro. That well, is crazy. It. It, it's like, look, when I, the tier I was on, everyone had life already. So they had already had, they already had life or they had been fighting life some of them had been there 12 years holy shit in a dude. six by nine cell for 12 years 24 hour lockdown oh, oh my god and i'm not even exaggerating 12 years bro a guy who i knew was three doors down from me he'd been there eight years six by nine cell i mean you know i know there's like so many people out there and fuck we <laughs> might see some of them in the comments like there's a lot of people out there who um write off people who get into these kind of situations right like right. well fuck them you know whatever that guy did and it's like i you know i get that especially if you're like a victim's family or some shit like people do awful things and a lot of people i don't know they write it off but like people who ended up in these situations they did for, for a, a a lot of circumstances and then the whole point is like but what do you do how how, mm. how if someone gets life, that's, I guess, a little different. They're going to be in there forever. But, like, they're still part of society. Yeah, like, they the still exist. the methodology to make sure that they are going to be a functioning member when they do that, get out? Like, right, right, like, right, right, right. like how do you up, yeah. bring someone... Shouldn't the goal be helping them bring them back into society? Well, you would and hope, right? You would hope, yeah. You would hope. But well, I know I mean, that's not our fucking even system. heroes who went to war don't get that. Ex oh, exactly. You know Dude, yeah. exactly. And yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't mean to yeah, say yeah. that as a hierarchy of people, but just yeah. like in the minds of people, if, if fighting for your... Country people, doesn't get you the treatment the front you deserve. Line, doesn't get you any recognition when you get home because you're yeah. just a body. Yeah. And you're just right, a statistic. Right, right. And like the help fucking, you need as a human yes. to come back. Back it's to society, right, right, right. it's yeah, it's, it's really like you're um, what what is exiled? Yeah, you're that. kind of just literally sure. exiled from that. The I mean, you're definitely treated that so way. Yeah. Wow. yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, like I said, like that music manager who had been in, like it's just a huge part of him to uh, reach out to those communities and like work with that because he understands like right, right, it's right. another world in there and no one is looking out for. What happens when these people come out? What's happening to them in there? Like, right. I watched some fucking documentary that showed prisons in like Norway or something. Oh yeah, and they and, and they're free. like they're like treated yeah. well because the I goal. Saw that same did you see that shit? That bro. Michael Moore one? Yes, yeah. the Michael Moore. Yeah, uh, and it's the, like an amazing setup. Like, ama yeah. Amazing. <laughs> they're like because, out in the garden and like, yes, yeah, yeah because their yeah, yeah. their goal was actually like holy shit. Yeah, this person might have done something awful, but like they the best thing for society is can we bring them back in right, so exactly. like they actually do rehabilitation yeah, yeah it's right. like hey you actually need yeah, you need yeah. a little care right now and we're gonna fucking show you how to come back yeah that shit blew my mind yeah come back they had never, a setup yeah never have to yeah i saw return. that you saw that yeah i saw yeah that. while you're in that a fucking was, that was a yeah. good one yeah Man, that was a good that was one tough. that shit blew my mind did, did you guys have any electronics in there? Because I, I see some some homies that like they'll they'll be able to get like phones or like records. they had um, a radio. They had a radio. It. Yeah, but it was like a collective radio. Yeah, it was a radio. No, oh no, everyone. Yeah, everyone had to use one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> oh, that no, bad. Okay, okay. No, yeah. no, they everyone got a, a radio on the tier. So everyone, what would you what what got you through? What were you listening to? Who who was? I was just, just writing music and listening oh, to yeah. Just did, listening. You could get beats random. No, I but it was beats. just constant top forty. Hits. Yeah, Taylor Swift forever, just, bro. Yeah. You're big Swifty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I uh, turn into a, all kind, all kinds of fans. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, fans, whatever the movie. Have you written some crazy music from your experience? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I, I wrote a lot of music. It, it was just therapeutic for me. Yeah. You know? So that was how like, I passed time. Did you make time. any like make any of it? What yeah, I, I made this song called "Chosen One" that I oh, yeah. dropped. Um, Bars. I wrote that while I was incarcerated. I wrote I wrote a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah. So yeah, it just. To pass the time, honestly. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get you in the studio with uh, with Sean, Sean too, man. Yeah, Let, yeah, for sure. Let's Let me know whenever you whenever you're around. But you you bounce back and forth from Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I'm over in the valley though. No. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, we, yeah we gonna work. We gonna work. Yeah, Do you produce sure. too? I would love to produce. I I would love to learn how to work Pro Tools. And Fuck Pro Tools, man. Logic. 
Logic. Are you, are you the Ableton? logic guy? Hey, there's either one or the other. On. Pro Tools is too complicated. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. now it's Logic or Ableton, and only the freaks are on Pro Tools. <laughs> is that the truth? The that's... professionals yeah. are on Pro Tools. Yeah, that's everyone's what I mean. The freaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the freaks. The I'm a Ableton. little bedroom. It's going to be Logic or Ableton because it's kind of <laughs> intuitive. Um, but yeah, I just like started getting into producing, and I fucking love it, bro. You just got to just download one of the. Yeah. Just download Logic, Logic or Ableton yeah. and just get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not. It's not as hard as we made it. Yeah, it ain't rocket like yeah, yeah. I didn't I made it such a fucking obstacle in my music for so long. Like, nah, I don't produce. Right, right. And right. then I just like was like, fuck it, and got logic and started producing and like it's fun. Yeah, yeah, that sounds dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta check it out. Yeah, you gotta Everyone's get in going there. straight to Pro Tools, but people swear by logic, bro. Oh no, logic is people swear by because logic. Because you're dealing with the same twelve notes of this Western scale, you know what I mean? It's not right. much difference you can do, you know. And I like Ableton because their grid is just insane. Exactly. You can do all type of tricks like to make the the beats like um I don't know, like exponentially like um syncopated separate, and syncopated. shit yeah dope man yeah 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 and djs djs with ableton they'd be killing do you sing i don't i wish i could mm. i try to try to harmonize yeah, yeah. Nah, i wish i could sing mm. not much of a singer though do you sing no i sing <sighs> For joy. <laughs> That's good. Chant. A little bit. In the chant. shower or not? A little more rip. than harmonize. Every, I chant my own language because like that yeah. for me is like, and it, it gets that sound healing in there, that like vibration in yeah, your yeah, chest. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That phlegm so all, wake yeah. that phlegm up. <coughs> yep. <laughs> and, then I, and then I start my day. That's good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Do, you, do you know how much this man sings? Oh. I do a little bit. I get on that. I'm like singing sing. more and more. It's, You've it's been usually, like sneaking I'm, I'm in. Humming, you know, no, the, the you're singing. Stuff. My boy got bars right here. Yeah, yeah the I mean, always bars, have bars so, and flow, but I've been just hearing you sing more and record yeah, yeah, more singing, singing and I'm like, okay, okay, Dan. You know, you've been bringing it out more. I like it. I'm just trying to amplify. You know what the beats already doing. You know, hey. that's all. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yo, uh, can you tell us a favorite meal from? Cause I, I mean, I've heard bad things about the food in there. Yeah. Do you? Did you have like a favorite meal? So store is like gold in there. Coffee is like gold. Um, what did you say? Store. Yeah, store. Like so store commissary, the commissary, commissary comes gotcha. once a week. Mm -hmm. Um, and the favorite meals are just like wet burritos, bro. I mean, look, there were people in there literally like turning their bunk beds into just full grills, like a hibachi would, grill. Yeah, they yeah. would literally like shave mm -hmm. off all the paint they would you know they'd have the the meat coming in the carne asada the trustees would bring in carne asada and i mean they, they some they would, people had it plugged in they would <laughs> heat it up what was the method to heat the and so they would take two batteries put a razor and then light a piece of paper and then light you know and then next thing you know it's grilling all down the tier seeing the smoke yeah that is uh, ingenuity and ingenuity stops them why? And nobody cares, bro. <laughs> Let them eat. Nobody cares. I mean, I guess they would technically stop them if uh, it's they turn a blind eye a lot, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. If they if some starts like if lighting something on fire starts, or something, then, yeah. yeah, then then for sure. But just mm -hmm. a little carne asada smoke goes a long way. What are we gonna do? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. gonna Let me eat my carne asada. Again. What you gonna That's do? fucking wild. Did, yeah. did you get invites? I did not. Nice. No, no I did good. Oh wow. It's kept to myself. Nice. So. And for the viewers um, listening and you can't see, he's a sizable dude. You know, anybody going to mess, anybody going to just run up on Adam. Nah. And he's agile. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, I didn't get, I didn't I get I forgot that you were no. tall. Yeah. He's tall on me, right? Yeah. I said hi today. I was like, damn. <laughs> no. What's up, Damn. man? I'm looking Not up at you. There. <laughs> we were a tall cast on Zeke and Luther. We were. You you taller Hutch than Hutch? That tall? I think I'm. Is Hutch he? Is, Hutch is like six foot. I think Hutch. Hutch might have like a like a centimeter or two on me. I can't even lie. Really? He just might. No, no way. way. I, I think you're. No. We, we have to. We're gonna have to stand back to back. And I don't think so. Up. You don't think so? No, I think no. you're taller than Hutch. Yeah. yeah. Well, but you haven't seen Hutch in a while. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Have you, you what's, 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 how, did, how did you all? I mean, like, you just you haven't gotten back in touch? Oh, no, I've reached out. Yeah, no, we've talked. Oh, I've great. just haven't seen him in, in, in person. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, he went through his fucking, like, that's what I'm talking that thing. Like, he went through his fucking journey, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah we all we all go through it, man. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Say. We tied together via this industry. Like, I, I always tell people it feels like we won the Hunger Games. Not even won the Hunger Games. We, we, we went we, through, we went through, through. <laughs> <laughs> we We're it. still We're in still it. Fighting. <laughs> Time to die. Like, you ain't won yet. Keep working. Yeah. I'm tired, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's too damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm.
Yeah. Now, so uh, I remember when you went to wait. Did you do Jonas before you did Pair of Kings or Pair of Kings first? I did Pair of Kings. What was Pair of Kings? Wait, no, it was on Mitchell Musso, and you replaced him. I did replace Mitchell Musso. He was, yeah. yeah, he was doing some. I forget, but wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Like, first season. Was it on Disney? First season. It's on Disney XD. Oh, okay. oh yeah, Disney XD. Yeah. Oh, and you worked with uh, what's what's the big homie? That's my Gino. Gino, do you Gino. have a cool relationship with Gino? Yeah, yeah, Gino's cool, bro. Yeah, good dude. Now, yeah, he. We might have to have Gino on this pod. He talks about some wild, wild stuff. Gino's man. funny, bro. Funny dude, funny dude. Big, deep, raspy deep voice. voice. Never met somebody with a deep. Well, Dikembe Mutombo was the only person who I could say had a deeper voice. You met Dikembe Mutombo randomly at like a hotel. I forget, I forget what hotel. I think it was like Sofitel one day. You said, "Excuse me, sir." I mean, yeah, way up there and man, seven rattles seven, your two. chest when he talked. Well, wow. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Atlanta, and he played for the Hawks a long time. It oh, yeah? Like, yeah. That was the guy. The Kimbe Mutombo. The Kimbe Mutombo. Yeah. One of the seven-footer NBA players. He does a lot of voiceovers, doesn't he? Um, oh, Gino? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, and from those voiceovers, he ended up uh, doing a couple, like, huge video games, too. Yeah, yeah, so he's in there. His, like, they, they really... They screen capture too. very unique, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody's got a voice like Gino. Mm -mm. I got to hear this, man. Yeah, yeah. Super deep voice. I gotta yeah. love that. I taught acting classes. Or I teach yeah, acting brother. classes with him. I'll probably see him. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. yeah you, like you gotta pull that. up when we when we do the, the, yeah, for the sure. classes. Know. For sure. Yeah. yeah, why'd you never invite me to teach your classes? Um don't know. <laughs> don't know. What? It's Not Devin, good Devin's enough. gonna break the kid's soul. Not, oh, I probably <laughs> Not would. Good enough. I probably what would. What is your favorite thing you learned about yourself um, while there? Or getting Oh up. shit, in, in life, yeah. probably. Yeah, but. or now. <laughs> well, because he said he didn't know a lot about himself, so I kind of want right. to know right. to, right. to what level you feel like you achieved. Just that. how strong I am, honestly, nice. because I put a lot of doubt into myself. You know, a lot of worry. I like to worry. You know, I yeah. just do. I'm just the person that worries. You know, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know, I've learned that you know I'm stronger than than I thought I was for sure, and that's that's the biggest thing because. It's like when it when everything first started. It's like how what is going on, and then it's like you're out and you went through it, and you're stronger than you thought you were. Yeah, you know what wow. I mean. And it just kind of happens very quickly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah, slowly yeah. but quickly. Yeah. Dang man, yeah, I got so so much I want to inquire about, but you know, yeah. it's like, yeah, like what was your first reaction when? you knew like after like s sentencing when they're like yo this is what it's gonna be so the, here's the process that i went through i i i got there um when i first got there i didn't even know like what i was arrested for like mm -hmm. i had to wait three months my lawyer didn't come see me they set wow. me up with psychiatrist i was deemed incompetent to stand trial oh from the da Fuck. psychiatrist like blackouts because uh, like, you were just so yeah, far gone, gone from gone, reality yeah. yeah yeah and so i was deemed you know by three different psychiatrists i went through that whole process um and then i started the process of the courts i went back to to la county jail covid took two years at least of sitting oh there so every three months you go to court and um you know i i was ready I took that deal because I was, they offered a deal and the deal was basically time served. You know, I'd been there a while. So right. It was time served um, and just take the deal now, which was basically what it was. And so, I, you know, I took the deal. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I feel like I deserve to, to be there. You know, I, I, I messed up and that's just what it is. You know, I, I had to deal with it. You know what I mean? When, when yeah. they showed you the video... Because yeah. like you had been blacked out. What what did you think? Like I didn't see the video. I didn't see the video. Where I was at, the TVs didn't work for like a whole year. So I, I was unaware. Everyone knew who I was when I got there. Um mm. walking down the tier, everyone had already kind of figured out through the cops and because they they talked to the every the cops are talking to everyone. And so um yeah, I was just black. I mean, I don't know if you've ever done Xanax and liquor before but it's a terrible mixture you know what i mean yeah i bet especially when it you know continues and continues and continues and builds and builds and builds and that's basically what happened yeah, yeah. that continued yeah yeah may Jesus. i ask possibly the most serious question of the day why did you let this close up this <laughs> is yeah. this my earring yeah i it's still open i think it is do you have an earring oh 
Do you have an you earring can, to you test can, it? You can get something in there? God damn it. I think I can get something in there. Oh. <laughs> For the viewers, that, I mean, the listeners oh. at home, we're trying to see if his ears mm. have closed. Oh, wait, hold on. Ear, ear holes? No, they're not ear holes. What do you call them? You just going to grab a, a random needle or what? No. You ever going to rock earrings? I've never done them. Have you? Do you have them? Uh, uh, no, I never did it. Theo, Theo hopped on the earring train. Now he's an earring boy, and it's pretty cute. We'll never we'll know. We'll survive. I right. want to the world find may something never to stick in there. Let's find it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I, think, I think they do work. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 so you got them both. They're both done. Yeah, they're both done years ago, like 16, 17. Right. Mm. Yeah. Why, don't, don't let those... Don't, don't give up on those holes. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, on them I holes. Say, I should have showed up with the... With, the, with, with the that, that bling bling, with that blow. The steez. Would you ever wear like dangly earrings or you just wore like studs? No, just studs. Just studs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you don't yeah. strike me as a dangly earring guy. Yeah, no, I don't know you are a dangly earring guy. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you are a dangly earring. <laughs> Dude, what was, like it. what was it like? Because I feel like when you went to Jonas, the Jonas Brothers were at like the height of their career. Wait, was it a movie or was it a TV show they had? Yeah, I did 10 episodes for oh, Jonas. Sorry, sorry. Nice. Yeah. yeah, so Jonas... I think it was on it was on Disney Channel, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember you would come like we would kick it, like, you know, we would still be doing cyphers and stuff, and you would be like, oh no, I'd be like, yeah, so man, so you know, you know what's up? Has Nick heard my music, man? What's what's up? He's like, yeah, yeah, they they fuck with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just giving me the no yeah. No way. I'm like, you ain't played in my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you fuck were, with it, man. Yeah, uh, you with were it. trying yeah, to they, they love it. That's <laughs> yeah, they hilarious. love it. They said they said it's really great. Yeah. <laughs> so when we getting in the studio, uh, 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 talk about it. <gasps> wow, you I'm were you were that boy? No, no, no. no but, <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yes, you were. No, no, <laughs> so listen, man, I just I have this I have this mix I have this mixtape and uh Yeah, if you just listen. No, I mean yeah, we yeah, work, just we five work. Minutes, if you could just, just get minutes. him if you could just, just get him to minutes, listen, man, that's all I need. I, I, I need, need two songs, two songs. With Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Honestly, his his Dude, song, his song "Jealous" still does it for you. me. Yeah, I love that song. Oh Let's yeah, get, get jealous. Let's go. Yeah, they, I like that song. They all, man. Jesus. Okay, yeah. so and, and you have a pilot in the works. Oh wait, no, no pot potential. We're gonna see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're still yeah. getting their we'll stuff together. Yeah. But no, 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 Did Lindsay, you appreciate that, booking this more than you? More than ever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. More, more than, than ever. Ever. Right. I've appreciated this journey. Um. It's it's been a long journey. Fuck yeah, mm -hmm. and it's come full circle, and it, you know, and just to be working and being able to come on a pod like this and just talk to you guys, and you know, yeah. it's, it's part of my life. It's the truth of my life. So yep, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, appreciate 100%. you sharing that. Yeah, truth. appreciate really, you being down to really really talk about it. it. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know. We all. I mean, you guys were closer. I knew you, but just like I just had to watch all this from a really far away and just go. Like, yeah, yeah, Whoa, for sure. I wonder how the fuck this has happened and what's happening yeah, yeah. now. It's like good to I, see you fucking like, ripping, man. Really, really resonate with your story. And it's For so, sure. Thank you. I so impressive that. to to hear how you're still here, yeah, you know, sure. and, and still believe, still thriving, still creating. Yeah. Like it's, it's rough. Not everybody finishes, you know what I mean? Right, that sure. or hits their rock bottom before they die or like this, that or other. Well, like, that's, I mean, it's a great point because I feel like if the things didn't happen the way they did happen, that I would not be here right now. And mm -hmm. I've heard that a lot, especially when I was inside, like, man, this saved my life, bro. Yep. Oh, wow. like, interesting. This saved my life, yep. bro. Like, damn. And, and I was, you know, I felt like it saved my life. It really did. It really did. Put mm. me on track. It redirected, mm -hmm. you know, it redirected my life in a way that it would have never been. I would have never been sober. I would have never been focused the way I'm focused. I would have never been determined the way I'm determined, you know? And, um, yeah, and, and I've just, I've learned a lot and, 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 you know, on to bigger and better days. Yeah. That part. Yeah. That part. Big wins. Big yeah. wins. Yeah. And reps, you got out and got reps, man. Yeah, for It's sure, not always bro. fucking easy, bro. Yeah, no. yeah, I got some reps, bro. Shout out got to the reps. Shout out to my <laughs> team, awesome. bro. Hey. Shout out to, the shout team. Out to my on, team. Bro. Coming on for the fucking adult That's, career, I put dude. this yeah. man <clears throat> up against anybody. Like, I mean, it was always Shia LaBeouf. You reminded me of like Shia LaBeouf coming up. And you know what? Um, Matt Dearborn worked. He did even Stevens, too. Yeah, he did. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Who, he created that, didn't he? Who? Yeah. The Zeke and Luther creator? Matt Dearborn, yeah. yeah Matt creator, Dearborn. Zeke and Luther created. Created even Stevens? Even Stevens. Christy Carlson Romano. And it's all full sucker because Christy Carlson Romano is like it, our partner in, in uh, Paco. Paco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's cool. super full circle. I didn't yeah. know that. Have you spoken to Matt? Yes. Dope. Dope. Yeah, how, been in how, contact. How, He's good, man. Yeah, I, only, yeah. I chime in every now and again. What about Tom? Tom Burkhardt? I have not talked to Tom. Yeah. I haven't. Matt. Matt's a good dude. Great dude. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know he did even Stevens. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, we, we got work to do, man. I, I, I'm inspired, bro. I, I will yeah. say that. I mean, you being able to stick it out, 
through everything and then come back out, you know, like ready to go. Right. Yeah. right I'm right. like, that's like, okay, well then, yo, you put put some fire, man. Let's go. Let's go. Put some fuel in this uh to this fire and mm -hmm. let's amplify. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Let's kill it. Dude, thanks for coming, coming. through. Yeah. No, well, thanks, thanks for, for having coming. Me, man. And yeah, uh yeah, I'm excited to see like what's what's up for you and what's next and kind of hear how the nonprofit's going, all that. Oh man. my yeah, gosh, sure, congratulations. Yeah, what a so huge much. Give back, living yeah, amends, yeah, sure. like just everything. That's Thank you so, much. so cool. Like definitely, like that's an aspiration, like of mine as well. Is it? To, yeah, yeah. Because I know you suffered in yeah, areas yeah, yeah, too, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Same, just addiction, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, you know, the alcohol, sucks, Xanax. Yeah. I had Adderall mixed in oh, to Adderall. the train as well. Oof, yeah. God. Yeah. Sometimes I still imagine like if somebody put an Adderall pill in front of me, like I, I would still like have trouble not taking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I mean? that bad. Yeah. Yeah. I it would, really is. I would fight you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I think you, you would win. But sometimes today. in my worst moments, I just, I, sometimes I like imagine that and i'm like oh yeah, and then yeah. sometimes you got to double check out of your dream that you didn't use you know what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah, you'll have sure. those terrible fucking yeah you uh, gotta wake up and you like remind it. yourself that like no i'm i'm okay but yeah just everything you said about needing to reset like i felt like my prison no this is not even the, but like was with my family like having to go from this right. industry my total freedom all of this to like sleeping on my uncle's in my uncle's guest room working at a yoga studio like right, cleaning right, up right, after right. other people right so it's like yeah. i feel that needing of like i had no idea who i was you know what i mean and and having to make the process of coming back here on my own as a sober healthy person now um, right, and sure. with no momentum behind me anymore it's as if the resume does not matter right, right, you know right, what i mean sure. and so first thing the first guest star i first and only guest star i booked since i've been back i i was crying like i was just so yeah, so such an amazing so feeling, grateful isn't it? yeah right. For sure. In a way I didn't appreciate it before because it was always right there. And so it sucks that like I couldn't continue that ride like as it was, but just wouldn't have appreciated it or really felt it right, like I sure. do now. And valued that I value a life outside of acting so much. For you know? sure. For sure. And I never thought that that And that's a great be. thing you said actually to feel things like that. Mm. I, I was suppressing so much and I felt like that that's the big issue you know it, it, it's like you're just numbing yourself constantly yeah. constant numbing 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 and, so and yet that. we're getting paid to feel <laughs> right, exactly. weird did you find that any of that was therapeutic to let out any of that anger feeling nothing like with, with what with when like you were acting, on set like when you got oh yeah set. for sure like i mean acting was always a high in itself right mm -hmm. you know exactly. how acting is right. exactly. i mean you got to be on best. your p's and q's yeah right. You can't show up drunk or high. I mean, no, I, you, right. you, you're going to fail and look retarded. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. But there's a high fired. of being on set. Yeah. Acting yeah. is a fucking high. Yeah. I love Love that shit so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. Nothing yeah. you have to escape from. Um, yeah. Well, awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, we like to end our episodes with a little tip little for the tip. audience. All right, let's do it. Tip so tip. Uh, it's up to you. Whatever, whatever you want to um, uh, tip. We, we just, we just uh, based on this conversation, yeah. based on life, yep. based on anything. <laughs> That's, That's you. Yep. What's up, guys? It's Adam Hicks. Just remember to keep fighting, keep focused, keep your health focused, keep your mental health focused, and just keep going, man. That's the sentence of the day. Just keep going, one step at a time. That yes, part sir. lit. One foot in front of the other. What you got, Dan? Um, do, 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 do. My tip will be uh, constantly uh, reinvent yourself, guys. Let your journey unfold for you. All right. Don't be hard on yourself about what you feel like are your setbacks. Let that journey unfold. You're going to get to your fulfillment if you keep, like Adam said, putting one foot in front of the other. Let's go. Uh, my tip is going to be... Um uh let people heal let people change let people grow uh yeah this life goes a lot of different ways and it's long um and like uh yeah we gotta have space in fucking society for people to grow change evolve and uh be a part of that space and not a part of the other space thanks slow down before life slows you down <laughs> Hey. Hey. That's great. Um, love, love you guys. Bars. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, love you. Um, Thank you. Peace. Oh, yeah, that. hit that subscribe. subscribe. We'll Yee. see you in the comments. We'll Amen. see you next week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next Adam five. Hicks back in uh, business. We back out. You'll see him on your screen soon. Yeah. yeah.
Thank you for watching this thank week's you. episode. And thank you to our patrons. Our patrons. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. We love you. We do uh, bonus content, live streams, and mm -hmm. you guys help keep this show mm -hmm. going. If you want to join, check us out. Yes. And big shout out to our super, super friends. Hey, hey. hey. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. Super, super friends, friends dance. Super super friends dance. dance. Super and a big shout out to our super duper friends. Super duper friends. Okay, we starting out with Legendary X, AK. Mm. And we got Rebecca Saletti. Let's go, Becca. Eve. Eve. Thank you, guys. Eve. We love you. Super friends, Dan. Super friends. We'll see you on the live stream. Thank super you, super friends. friends. Back it up. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us in your life, go over to the Ned's Pod Clips YouTube for shorter content. And if you really can't get enough of us, go join our Patreon now for exclusive bonus weekly content, live streams, all that. We'll put the link in the description. See you next week.